uh, having reviewed your testimony, your request for budget, uh, the discussion of post-conflict needs in Gaza, what you're requesting there, and specifically your statement in your written testimony about a two-state solution is the best way to ensure Israel's future as a Jewish and democratic state living in peace alongside a viable, sovereign, and democratic Palestinian state uh, as part of your testimony. It's fair to say you're the chief diplomat for America over the Mideast, the, the top dog, as they say. That would be a fair... A fair uh, categorization of yourself? Yes. Yes, ma'am. And turn your microphone Sorry. on so everybody yes. can hear you. Very good. So my first question, I've asked this of others before, have you objectively assessed uh, your pursuit of a Palestinian state? So, Congressman, when have I objectively uh, 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 assessed it, meaning are the conditions there right now? They're not right there. Did you They're objectively, do you just decide, hey, I think there should be a Palestinian state, or did you objectively look at this? Long-standing policy, and it's certainly been the stated policy of this but administration. But did you personally, as the top dog over the Middle East, objectively assess whether we should make a state out of a group that currently holds five Americans hostage, roughly five Americans hostage, we, killed 35 Americans in the last couple months. Did you objectively assess? So, Congressman, we have no intention of working with Hamas in that, in that, uh, in that endeavor. What we're talking about is something entirely different. I would hope you don't. Yes. So let me ask a, a question related to that. Who do you, but you did objectively assess this? Yes. Okay, who did you objectively assess would become the leader of the Palestinian state that you wish to create? It's not for us to, to, to designate a leader. But if you are objectively assessing whether the United States of America should put resources into creating a Palestinian state as the top diplomat over the Middle East, we would expect that you objectively assessed who would become the leader of this state. No, it is not for us to... to determine that. I didn't say you're going to determine it. I said, who do you objectively assess will be the leader of that? I don't have an, I don't have an objective assessment as to who will be the leader. So you of did that. not objectively assess who That's would become the leader of the, of the state that you wish to make? No. So you don't assess, well, maybe you can do it right now. Would you assess that Hamas would be the leader of that Absolutely state? Absolutely not. Palestinian Islamic Jihad? Absolutely not. Fatah? Fatah is not the leader of anything right now. I'm asking it is you if you assess Fatah is an organization. It's a political organization. El Aqsa Martyrs of Brigade. No, absolutely. Lions Day. Any of the any of the FTOs, any of the organizations that we have designated as foreign terrorist organizations are exactly that. That is not what we're talking about. But certainly, as you being our top diplomat in the area, you should be able to understand that we should have every expectation that if you're pursuing creating a Palestinian state, that you would have objectively assessed who you think would be the leader of that. Now, let me ask you something else. Do you objectively assess that if they were made a state today, that they would have to be labeled a state sponsor of terror? Who is the day, they in that question? A Palestinian state. Would it, were a Palestinian state created prior to October 7, would it be a state sponsor of terror today? It's a theoretical question I can't answer. Would you label them a state sponsor of terror today? It's a theoretical question. Now you're just acting Especially like people in do past. in D.C. Would you label them a state sponsor? Do they meet the, the requirements? The well, their government is Hamas. No, if you're talking about Hamas, I've already answered that question. But that they is their already, government. No, but we're not talking about Gaza. We're talking about a Palestinian state. And that's a larger question. And it would be a negotiated process. Who would negotiate that? The U.S. Would, ha, would offer its good offices to negotiate between the parties. So we would negotiate it, but it's not up to us to think about who would be the leader of that Palestinian never state. In the you past should not objectively assess that. We have that? never in the past designated leaders in, in the, the guise of such negotiations. Okay. So I don't think what you're saying exactly adds up here, that you wouldn't assess who would be the leader of this Palestinian state. For the Palestinians to, de to determine. But the but Palestinians we're not talking... determined this in the past, oh. and they determined Hamas would be their leadership. So polling after polling shows they would choose the Hamas PLO as their leadership. Is the PLO is the recognized representative of the Palestinian people. Hamas is an FTO, and lies outside of the PLO. You think PLO the PLO, PLO is, is recognized as the leadership by the Palestinian people? The Palestinian Authority governs. The PLO is the representative. You think that's what the Palestinian people I believe. haven't done polling on this recently. Uh, but as the top diplomat over the Middle East, I would expect that you've reviewed the this. the PLO is the entity that did the Oslo Agreement with Israel? It appears to me as my time has expired, I thank you for trying to answer. You have not objectively assessed whether it is wise for America to pursue making a state 
out of Palestinians, and I suggest you do as the top diplomat over the Middle East. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.